Hi friends, welcome back and welcome to my 2020 Christmas Decorate With Me. I am so excited to be sharing lots of cozy Christmas decor inspiration with you today. We're going to be decorating with lots of reds and whites and a few greens too. But more than anything, I'm just so excited to share lots of inspiration. I hope that I can be a resource and my prayer is that I can be an encouragement to you as you're decorating your own home so that it can be the coziest place to be this Christmas. So if you are excited about this, make sure you give this a big thumbs up and let's get decorating we're starting here in my kitchen area and I'm striving for more of a minimal but cozy look this year I want to include lots of whites and greens with a few pops of red here and there. I always like to change it up a little bit every year though, just for fun. And if you happen to be new here today, I just want to take a quick second and say welcome and I'm so glad that you're here. My name's Amy and I adore all things home decor and cozy home inspiration. And if you like what you see today, make sure you hit the red subscribe button down below. Also, make sure you follow me over on Instagram for even more Christmas decor inspiration. If you don't have decor to fit the space, go ahead and don't be afraid to change it. I just cut down that Christmas tree a little bit so that it would fit in this shelf. I added a stack of plates as well just for an added touch of dimension since this is a hutch. Then I added this old window pane. I've had it forever. I just put a festive holiday wreath onto it. I believe it's from Target. I love the little red berries in it. I think it's so pretty. And then I have these striped pillows from Hobby Lobby. I'm putting them here in the kitchen. Again, another touch of red. And then I played around with some different floral stems, but ultimately ended up adding these really simple but really pretty juniper stems. I love this stuff. I think that it's so airy and so, so pretty. I felt like the hutch just needed a little bit more going on, so I did end up adding this garland just to make it that much more festive. It took me a little bit to play around with it, but once I got it just right, I think that it turned out really beautiful. Today I'm excited to share how I create a holiday inspired chalkboard using my Cricut machine and I would like to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. To get started I opened up my machine, turned it on and made sure that it was connected to my laptop via Bluetooth and then I simply took a light grit mat. There are all sorts of different mats using Cricut. I inserted that and now I'm taking some white vinyl. That's what I'm gonna use today for a stencil and I'm cutting that to size. Now this will vary depending on the size of your chalkboard, but mine is 12 by 12. Then I simply placed my vinyl onto the mat carefully, ensuring that there were no air bubbles before I moved on. I found this beautiful graphic online and I downloaded it onto my computer and then I uploaded it to Cricut Design Space. I made sure that it was set on cut and made sure that it was the correct size. Cricut Design Space is super user friendly. I selected the material, inserted the mat, and then press start and my maker did the rest. I have been using my Cricut to make signs for years and I remember being so excited when I received my very own Cricut for Christmas several years ago. Next, I'm taking my weeding tool, which is essential for vinyl and pulling out all of the intricate little letters, especially with calligraphy. So I'm just taking my time, working slowly, getting all of them out before I move on. Now I'm gonna carefully pull that vinyl paper off of the mat, you wanna work slow. And then I like to take my Cricut scissors, they are nice and sharp, and I like to cut around the letters as close as possible. I find this makes it easier to work with. You definitely don't have to do this, it's just personal preference. 
And then I'm gonna take some transfer tape. This is a crucial step that you can't skip. I'm gonna make sure I take a piece large enough. I'm gonna pull it off and put it right over that vinyl. And then I'm gonna take my smoothing tool and make sure I get out all of the air bubbles and excess and make sure that that tape is nice and adhered to my vinyl. Once that is done, I place the paper roughly where I want it to be and I carefully and slowly remove the vinyl backing so that the transfer tape is exposed and ready to be placed. Again, I take my time, I take the smoothing tool and carefully make sure to get out any air bubbles and I make sure the vinyl is secure to the chalkboard. Then remove your transfer tape and make sure the vinyl stays in place. This takes time and patience, but it's not difficult at all. Just go ahead and use your smoothing tool as needed. Now the fun part. Take any chalk, chalk marker, or paint and go over the stencil once or twice. I personally like to use chalk marker. I find that it's the easiest to use. There's just something so unique and special about handmade items, and that's why I love to use my Cricut machine. If I'm not making a chalkboard sign, then you'll find me making ornaments or homemade Christmas cards is another favorite. I was just talking to my mom on the phone the other day, and she's going to make gift tags using her Cricut machine this year. Honestly, the possibilities are endless, and it's just so much fun. And this last step is my favorite, peeling back the vinyl and seeing your beautifully handwritten piece. It's always so satisfying to watch. I always make sure I use my weeding tool again and get all of the little pieces of vinyl out, but then it's good to go. It's a beautiful chalkboard sign for Christmas. I'll show you where I'm putting my sign a little bit later on, but we're just gonna continue on here in the kitchen. I have this simple pedestal, this little mini wreath. It's from the Hearth and Hand collection and a vanilla balsam candle. This was the perfect, simple addition to my island, and I think it looks really festive and really fun. And then I covered my Scentsy cords with these little Christmas trees, and then I'm taking some red berries from Hobby Lobby and putting them in this basket over the fridge. And I'm keeping it super simple here in the kitchen, but I will say I'll definitely be playing around with decor a little bit more. And it's not gonna be the final product today. If you wanna see the complete final product of my home and Christmas decor, stay tuned for my Christmas home tour. And now we get to decorate the Christmas tree, my favorite part. I put the tree up a few days prior and I fluffed it out and made it all beautiful. And now I'm taking this flocked ribbon from Hobby Lobby. It's wired and it's nice and sturdy and I'm cutting it into about 24 inch pieces. And you'll see it took me a minute to figure out what I wanted to do exactly with it, but that seemed to be what worked best. And then I literally just kind of stuck it inside the tree at random places and I think it turned out really pretty. I'm loving the dimension and the movement that it adds to my tree. I think that Christmas trees are the perfect expression of your personality and style. And I love that every year, no tree continues to look the same. It always looks a little bit different and it's always so fun to see the creative side of people decorating and what they do and the themes they go with. It's one of my favorite things about Christmas. I love to see unique Christmas trees and I love that every family decorates differently. It's just so much fun. So I want you guys to post your Christmas trees on Instagram and tag me so that I can see them. I think that is so much fun. I love seeing what you guys come up with. I personally like to keep it pretty traditional um, I have my ribbon and then next I always go in with assorted picks this year I'm going with lots of white picks because I want to brighten up my tree I'm going with natural elements like those twigs you see and these berries are beautiful I found all of my picks at Hobby Lobby this year 
I know Christmas can look a little bit different this year, but I hope and pray that you guys are continuing on with your traditions. Let me know in the comments below what is a Christmas tradition you have with your family or your children. One tradition we do every single year is a couple of days leading up to Christmas, we throw a little birthday party for Jesus. We decorate and sing songs and bring him gifts and just share what gifts we have to bring to him, whether that's our time, our talent, or our treasure. And we talk about the gospel and the story of his birth. And it's just a really special time for our family. So let me know in the comments, what is a Christmas tradition that you guys do? Now I'm going in with these faux fur ornaments. They're super cute. And then just a few other white ornaments. I am gonna add some pops of red as well. Just kind of place them evenly dispersed throughout the tree and then we will be all done. I am not doing my topper today. I am too short. I need Caleb's help for that one. So I'm gonna be working on that, but I'll definitely reveal it in the home tour. I love how the tree turned out. I think that it is so pretty. It's simple, it's beautiful, and it goes perfectly with my theme this year. And now moving on to the faux fireplace, the first thing I'm doing is adding these white knit stockings. They are super cozy and they go with that neutral theme. Really, they work with any holiday theme. I found them at Hobby Lobby this year as well as this garland. I loved how natural it looked, but it was a little bare next to the tree, so I did end up adding some red berries and some twinkle lights as well. over on this chair I have this plaid Mary pillow it's from Kirkland's and then I'm adding another cozy knit blanket to this basket and I'm placing these faux fur presents they're from Hobby Lobby in the basket and I thought that added a nice cozy touch but now I'm just gonna fluff up my couch get it nice and pretty and then I'm gonna be adding my Christmas pillows to the couch First, I'm adding these white knit pillows. You can definitely sense that's a theme throughout my home this year. I just think it adds so much coziness and warmth. And then I added these red and gray wool pillows. They're from Pottery Barn. I actually got them on major sale, but I like that they tied in the gray from the couch. And then I have this very neutral peace on earth pillow from Target. Now I wanted to keep things really simple on my coffee table, so I just took a glass bottle and filled it with some frosted eucalyptus stems. I also added this cute little tray underneath, and now I'm hanging my Cricut sign that I made earlier. It fit perfectly in this space in the family room, and I think that it adds just the perfect little touch. On the other side of the wall, I have this console table and I'm adding another sign that is Isaiah 9-6, which is one of my favorite Christmas scriptures. I just kind of played around with the decor on the table until I got it just right, but I wanted it to stay, again, really neutral and simple. So I went with a couple of Christmas trees. You can see I have different textures, different styles. And then I just added these rustic candlesticks from Hobby Lobby. I know it's pretty simple, but I really like the way that that looked. 
But just to add another pop of red, I just stuck these red plaid pillows in these little baskets. They're from Amazon, and I feel like that just made the perfect touch. And now I can't wait to cozy up in here with a comfy blanket and slippers and a hot drink and watch lots of Christmas movies. This room turned out so cozy and I couldn't be happier with it. Last but not least, we're gonna be decorating my entryway. I have this little bench and I hung the shelf above it as an anchor for this sign that has the night before Christmas on it. So pretty. I just added some little Target dollar spot trees and little Target dollar spot houses. They fit perfectly in these little cubbies. And then for some pops of red, I'm gonna add some red Christmas pillows and a little red berry wreath. I love that the wreath fit perfectly on these little hooks. I thought it was the perfect touch. But thank you so much for watching today's Christmas Decorate. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in Cricut, I have all the links down below. And I hope you found all of the Christmas inspiration today that you were looking for. I hope you all have a beautiful holiday season. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.